It's easy to get started using Mapbox, GLJS, and ArcGIS platform location services. I'm on the documentation page on the ArcGIS developer website. I'm going to navigate to the specific guide on Mapbox, and this is where I can find key concepts and tutorials and other documentation that will help me be successful in creating an application. Getting started is really simple. All I need is an ArcGIS account and an API key that's scoped to access the service. Let's get started by creating a Hello World application. I have uh, some basic HTML scaffolding along with CSS. I've already referenced the JS and CSS libraries for Mapbox. Note that I'm using version 1.12. All right, the first thing I need to do is get that API key. I'll go to my developer dashboard and copy the key that's already scoped to access um, the base map layer service. Uh, note that you can also uh, manage your API keys. So if, if you want another layer of security, you can always add a refer as well. Once that API key is set, I'll be able to begin actually uh, creating my application. Next, let's reference a base map enumeration. I can find the list of base map enumerations in the Mapping APIs and Services guide. I'm on the base map layer service page. And there are 25 enumerations available. There are streets and navigation, the creative, open street map, um, imagery and topography. And I'm going to pick one at random. Let's do, um, I don't know, RGIS navigation. Now that we've set our base map enumeration, we're ready to create our map. I'm going to have to pull in the service URL for the base map enumeration that we've set once I specify the container. Style. And the service URL, if you look at it, take note that we have to specify the type as style. This is because uh, the type parameter will specify whether to return that base map JSON as a Mapbox style JSON or as an Esri web map JSON. Once we set that style URL, we can set the zoom level to say 12 and the center to oh, um, 5 and 52. Note that this is longitude, longitude and latitude. Latitude. All right. Great. So when we refresh our application, we'll have our map. If we want to update the base map enumeration, we can do that. All we need to do is change the, the name. And we get Nova. And let's try, I don't know, imagery. And we're done. We were able to quickly create an app using Mapbox GLJS and ArcGIS location services. To learn more, about what we covered today, go to the specific documentation in the ArcGIS developer website for Mapbox GLGS. I'll link the uh, developer guide and the specific Mapbox uh, guide in the description below. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments about um, what videos we should do next or any other uh, suggestions or ideas, please leave those in the comments section down below.